Welcome to a Monday morning, everybody. 646 on the 17th of October, halfway through the month, and we have some rain showers going on out there. There's a couple of pockets of maybe some steadier precipitation, but as we put this into motion, you can see what's happening. Snow off here over from Milwaukee up to Sheboygan and Green Bay. It is possible we see a few flakes mix in as we go through the daytime hours. I think a better chance comes in tonight and then through the day tomorrow, but it's mainly going to be a rain event and a cold rain event at that. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 30s along and south of the NNA four corridor. Constantine is 40 degrees there. 36 at Hastings. Charlotte is 37 degrees. Grand Rapids 39. Belding is 37. Fremont is 41 and we've got 39 right now in Big Rapids. So uh, our temperature is not going to move much today. Only in the low, maybe the mid 40s at the lakeshore there under mostly cloudy, breezy conditions. Uh, 44 for the Grand Rapids high with a west to turning northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we look at what's going on with future track, you can see our forecast model trying to mix in a few snowflakes here and there, but it's going to mainly going to be rain throughout today. I can't even rule out a rumble of thunder, especially for areas along and west of US 131. As we go through the day, we're going to be in this showery pattern only uh, today, tonight, and for the day on Tuesday as well. This is uh, today at 6 p.m. We go through the overnight hours. You can see more lake effect rain and maybe a few snow showers mixing in, especially as you get down towards Van Buren, Berrien, and Cass counties with that north northwest wind. Lots of green on the map. Again, it's predominantly rain, but even as we go through Tuesday, there could be some flakes mixing in. Uh, that will shut down a little bit Tuesday night going into Wednesday, but I still think there's going to be some precip around into the first part of Wednesday. You can see that low pressure system behind me. It's because of that. That low is going to set up shop over the Great Lakes and that big trough in our jet stream and just kind of sit here. So we're stuck under the clouds, somewhat windy uh, conditions between the uh, pressure difference between that low and that high pressure that's over the northern plains planes right now, so not a whole lot is going to change. It's going to be some raw, blustery days here over the next few days, but eventually that will lift out of here. Lake effect rain showers, maybe some flakes mixing in breezy uh, mid 40s. And as we look at the wind, that's the other thing. Wind advisory has been posted from 2 p.m. this afternoon until 2 a.m. on Wednesday for our lakeshore counties. There could be some 45, 50 mile per hour gusts there. Here's uh, what it looks like. Those bigger, wider numbers there are the sustained winds over a two minute period at about 10 to 20 miles per hour as we go through the day with some higher gusts there. Winds will be strongest out over Lake Michigan and at the lakeshore. And a lot of times these models underdo the wind speeds and the wind gusts. So I think some 50 mile per hour wind gusts at the lakeshore will be possible as we go into tonight. They're sustained at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Probably about 20 to 30 mile per hour at the lakeshore and then the core of the strongest winds come through tomorrow. Look at those uh, uh, magentas and those uh, purples out over Lake Michigan with some 50 mile per hour gusts. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, Tuesday, lake effect uh, mix, rain, snow showers there, windy conditions, 43 degrees there. A chance of some showers, especially the first part of Wednesday. And as we go into Thursday, we're still caught under the cold air there, 50 degrees there. And as we look at the upper level pattern, I showed you the cold air last week coming in from this week. Now we can reverse it. Now I can show you the cold air that's going to be lifting out of here to be replaced by the warmer air by the time we get into the weekend. There's that big upper level trough. Cold air sinks all the way down to the Gulf Coast. That low eventually lifts out of here. It's still with us for Thursday, but look at the warmer tones of the greens and the yellows coming in as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that will also come with dry conditions and sunshine. And that's reflected in our super seven day planner. You can see it mid to upper 60s. I can't even rule out a 70 degree reading by the time we get into later in the weekend. That's our forecast 650. Let's talk Monday morning traffic. Here's Rob.